Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Sam Livecast. It's Thursday night, the night after Halloween. And speaking of Halloween, there we were last night. Time to give out candy. And you remember that I said I want to give out those little bags of chips. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. And what, what did you want to give out last year? Just pray tell. I, I wanted to give out little mini Slim Jims. Everybody thought it was stupid. I gave them out anyways. Never heard a complaint from a child. So this year I decided I wanted to give out those little bags of Wait, chips. Wait, maybe that was because we had no children that night. No, we had a couple. Um, we had a couple. Okay. And Very this little. year I wanted, I wanted to give away the, the bag, little bags of chips. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea. And turns out everybody thought it was a stupid idea. <laughs> so here's what I did. I offered the kids a choice. I went and got real candy and I had candy in one bowl and I had chips in the other. And I kept the tally. As the children came, we marked down one in the Reese's column or in the chips column. <laughs> and here's the count at the end of the night. Take a look. Here's my computer for you. Yeah. No. Chips. 18 to 12, ladies and gentlemen. No. 18 to 12. Hey, man, I'm no. a big fan of chips. Just saying. Hey, uh, can I'm I tell also... you something? A couple of times, the little kids went like this. Chips. <laughs> oh, did they really? They, honestly, I'm not saying that. I it was really cute. <laughs> but I can't believe the Actually, kids Actually, so the couple times I went to your door, Sam, yeah. they just looked confused because they were like, whoa, we have a choice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a scientific choice. <laughs> Nothing Wait, sh- against chips, but chips aren't candy, and Halloween is about candy. Does it have to be? Doesn't? How about it being about the thing that the kid goes to the door that they get that they want? Halloween's about candy, so if the only choice was that that candy corn shit, would that be a good choice? Who says that's the only choice? There's I'm lots saying, of different why does it have to be candy? How uh, about this? What did we hear? Mom said last night when she was growing up, there was a family that gave out cooked hot dogs wrapped in foil. Yep. What they a great, that's a good idea. That's a dream. They invited Is that a good you idea? into the foyer. And they invited you in? Uh, yeah, into their foyer. But I'm thinking of Lynn says that the kids were confused. They weren't confused, Lynn. They were wondering why the big friendly giant was at the door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was pretty much squatting down. I know how to deal with little kids no, by we, now. We saw, you, <laughs> we saw you duck really low to get down there. I mean, the first time I remember like, uh, you know, because like at work, there's always a season where everybody has kids. And I remember people bringing in their kids to work. And mm-hmm. I just come around the corner and the kids just like turn around. <laughs> they run the other way. Just like, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, all right. I want to know. Uh, first, I want you to vote. What do you want me to make? I, we, did a, we did an event a while back. Uh, and we needed this, this uh, cheese. I don't even remember what the hell I was making. What was it? It was at uh, one of your houses. Oh, one of the house things. It was the pesto pizzas. And so the pesto pizza is this uh borsan or alouette cheese and um pesto and something else pesto and parmesan and that's it and so i ended up with too much of it and every time i go to my outside fridge i see these sitting there and i say november 12th is coming i'm gonna end up throwing these out so i'm trying to be cautious with what i throw out i don't want to throw stuff so i said oh i'll make something tonight but rather than me just decide what to make i put a choice In a poll on the Facebook, you have your choice of me making an omelet, pasta, pizza, or a sandwich. And that's facebook.com forward slash Sam the Cooking Guy. Yes, it is. Hey, you, yeah. And here's the question right here. (laughs) Hey, are we going to leave the voting open for a certain amount of time? (laughs) No, we'll give, uh, we'll we'll go four more minutes. Wait, can we, so can we read the uh, votes real quick? Sure. So right now we got 22 for pizza, 10 10 for pasta, 11 for sandwich. 22 for all. Oh, oh my god it's look at that. and we'll, we'll refresh in a little bit and we'll and see is there okay is there uh anybody in this room that hasn't voted yet i we've all voted so that say. means that i'm the last one to vote that means i get the tiebreaker you're not the well, no, you're right. the tiebreaker well, you, you don't know that yet if in four oh, minutes okay, so then when are we gonna stop tied. it oh at four six, minutes ten, okay four minutes got it um but the cool thing about about this and or the other version the alouette Buy whichever one you want. I use them interchangeably. I buy what's on sale. I was just going to say whatever's on sale. Whatever's on sale. And Costco sells them in a three-pack. I can't remember what the ratio the, the is. The Borsin or the Alouette cheese? They sell the Borsin in the in a three-pack. I think you mm-hmm. get two of the garlic. The green one's the garlic and fine herbs, and then the shallot and chive is this purple one. Mm-hmm. But look it. it I think it's original um, 
uh, suggested use is what's on the cover. Use it like as a spread or as a dip. But the other things that you can make with this, imagine stirring a couple tablespoons of this into some warm mashed potatoes on the stove. Oh, uh, how good would that be? Whoa, that is a See, fantastic idea. I was going to put that idea. as one of the uh, as one of the options, but I thought I could say it. Easy, much. You don't need to just. You don't need to see me do that. Now that you know that's an option, you can do that yourself. Yeah. You could take a chicken breast and like you know slice it so you make a pocket. Uh -huh. and stuff it with some of this cheese. And some roasted red peppers would be delicious. Oh, that's or a great idea. sautéed spinach and the cheese. Stop. And then seal the thing up and then grill it or do whatever you want to do to it. Stop. You could You're uh, me too hungry. <laughs> take a little bit of it, grill some veggies or stir fry some veggies, and at the last minute, throw a little bit in. Just a little bit, not so it's dripping in it, but just so it gets a little bit of that garlicky herb thing or the shallot and the chive. That would be really nice. Or how about you take a hamburger, you're making burgers, get your patty, right? Make a hole in the middle and cram a bunch of this in the middle of it, mm. then we, seal them back up. Mm. Have we done stuffed burgers? On we the did show? stuffed burgers, but I didn't do it with this. I think mm. I did it with bacon. I, I do it with feta. Mom and I have them have the a feta stuffed burger all the time. Lamb stuffed feta. Yeah, lamb stuffed burger. Which stuffed I believe we've made on the show. Which is delicious. When I do that, uh, my favorite things to do are um, caramelized red onions yes or just sa ta sauteed mushrooms right the best so there's no question that there's a lot of things that you can do with this but our choices are and we know them there are the omelet the pizza pasta or a sandwich and let's see personally i'm a little disappointed that the uh that the sandwich didn't uh uh take off it well, was going to be it's a roast beef sandwich um with uh, sauteed onions in it oh. on mm. like a little ciabatta roll that I was going to grill. Can we just make all four after the show's done anyways? <laughs> uh, that's what we would like, yes. I thought you would like that. I thought you would like hey, that. Hey, there's something I just wanted to point out to everybody really quick. Uh, Your we dog's have a really barking cool, upstairs? Well, that. Yeah. But we have a really cool little chat function um, that Lynn sits here and does. And so if you check it out right there, and I actually remember seeing somebody in the show on uh, Wednesday saying, does Sam ever respond to the people on here? And yeah, he does, because Lynn is re relaying questions and stuff. So don't right. forget that you can go and do that little chat stuff with us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is a live show. We don't make it to every Facebook comment or every of chat course. thing. Of course, and try. we try. We'd love to. And you know what? We do go through them afterwards, and not just me, but I know that all of us do, because mm -hmm. you know while we're in the show, we don't get the opportunity to really engage with everything that you guys are saying. But going back afterwards and looking at it is something that I love to do. Yeah, I'm trying, but I just have a spinning. Yeah, color Kelly's ball got problems right screen. now. Oh. Hey, Max, you should go and vote, and then we should call it a day because it's ten after. Yeah, and I should what? You should vote. Oh, I should vote. Okay, you should vote. Okay, so go to the tally land, and then uh, let me make my decision. Oh, oh my God, I get to omelet. There I you go. I have I'm tiebreaker omelet. It's not tiebreaker actually. There was twenty-seven, 27 votes for and each. Twenty-seven. Well, no, no, no. This is, I'm on two different pages right now, so. Okay, can we see the updated one then? Yeah. 27, 28. Oh. <laughs> well, I want an omelet, so there you go. I just... And you voted? Well, he basically, he gets a vote at the end because he's not on his Yeah, he's not I'm the final vote because I can't, I can't get on my Facebook right now. So you're saying you haven't voted? I haven't, but we're just going to let myself have a verbal vote. Okay, so your end. vote takes it so it's a tie. So far, yes. Yeah. Well, so, let's, let's look one more time. Are we time. closing it? Are we we're closing, closing it. We've right closed now it. it's closed. So whatever results are on here are the final results. 28. Okay. Oops, sorry. But that. you can't, you saying you can't, you 10, can't vote. 13, 27. What is so confusing about so this? So now it's a tie though. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So people are seeing 28 and 27. You're saying you vote for Omelette, but you can't because your Facebook is effed. No, he's on a computer right now switching shots. Oh, so I got it. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Okay. So it's 28, 28. Yes. Okay. So now we have to, we have to tie break this somehow. Let's find out what we voted for in this room and then we'll see if that does it. Kelly? Omelette. Lynn? I went omelet, man. Max? Omelet. Man, I wanted the sandwich, so I guess we're doing an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn the oven off for the pizza then. I kind of oh, wanted the sandwich right. too, but I'm, I'm interesting, because we do so many things with eggs now. I'm interested to see what you got. We do. You know. I'm all, right, all cool. for eggs. All right, eggs. so omelet it is. The eggs. people have spoken. Uh, can we take a, can we take a look at a... Um, 
at a bad website, what I think is a bad website. Absolutely. There it is. It's right there on my screen. Mm. Bobby's Burger Palace. Uh, Bobby Flay. What, really? Come on, Bobby Flay. That's his website? This Bobby's is what website? you've got. I this like is what you. This is what you've got, Bobby. <laughs> and you want to know what's worse? <laughs> wow. You like Bobby Flay's pickle? Look at it. <laughs> okay, by the way, I have no idea what the hell is in that thing right there. It I think it's a piece of I. cheese melted down over top of a burger. With a tomato and guac. And guacamole. Guacamole. But Lynn, he needs you because that's awful. Yeah, that's bad. That's terrible. But wait, let's go to the photo gallery. No, Hold yeah. on. did he like m- mean it to be awful? That it's the worst looking site. But it come looks- to the come check out the photo gallery, mm-hmm. and now we'll take a look at. Let's look at the restaurant, shall we? It's like Disneyland. Whoa, oh. <laughs> interesting. It's not interesting. No, look, okay, so- I, you know what? I'm not a fan. Of anything that I'm seeing here. Yeah, it looks... Um, and here, check this out. Look at the cheesy little merchandise section. I mean, that's an afterthought. <laughs> Where is this restaurant? I don't... There's about 10 of them. So, what I'm seeing... I, just to, I would have expected more from Bobby okay, Flay. I feel like these are more novelty places. It's like, oh, I'm a Food Network chef, and I'm going to do a cool type of restaurant that people who don't necessarily have sophisticated ba- palates are going to visit because they know Bobby Flay. Yeah, and how about this picture? Do you picture? think that's it? I don't. Well, think about the guy. Fieri I mean, it's like the guy Fieri thing. Uh, but here's the thing. I think Bob. But here's the thing. Um, guy Fieri has novelty restaurants as it is. Mm-hmm. Tex Wasabi's. Yeah, it's a it's a Mexican. Uh, uh, it's a Japanese Texas combination restaurant, mm-hmm. and he's got like pulled pork. Uh, sushi rolls Wait, and stuff. Wait, sorry, what's the name of it again? Tex Wasabi's. Tex Wasabi's. Not a bad name, but... I, I don't know, but he is his novelty anyways. Yeah. Bobby Flay has... Uh, what is that? America... Bobby's... America... What is it? Americana? American... American... Bobby Flay's Bar Americane in New York. Uh-huh. Uh, he's got that uh, Southwest place that he cut his teeth on. What's that called? Oh God! Should we look at Bobby? Okay, I don't care. It. I don't, it's I don't, called Mesa Grill. He's got Mesa Grill in New York, and he's got one in Las Vegas. I've been there. He's got Bar American in uh, in New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bobby Flay Steak uh, in Atlantic City. He's got Mesa Grill in the Bahamas. Oh, he's got the Cove. Uh, wow, that's a lot. And of then places. this, I just expected more. Okay, I really don't care about any of those places. The one place that I want to go to is yeah. this. Oh my God! Cowboy riding a koi uh, fish. Okay, you're you talking go. about a tacky, oh. bad website. Like, are you kidding I don't me? Know. It's, I'm sure it's packed Look all at the this. time. You know, I have such anxiety over this restaurant. Of thing, course, it's honestly. rock and roll sushi. I get the question: We open a restaurant, and there's times when I really, really want to open a restaurant, and there's times when I go, "Why would I do that?" It's. I tough, would do it man. if I wanted to take pictures like this. Look at Bobby Flay. Here, Bobby, we need a picture for the website. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Click. Hey, you know what? Actually, I, I'd love to hear some of your stories of your photo shoots because those have been happening over the years and I know you dread them. I can't stand having my picture taken. Tell, you I, I can't. Tell me. Tell me. Ex- oh. I, uh, impersonate the people. Impersonate the photographers trying to tell you what to do in the shoot because you've done this for me before and it's so funny. So here's what they do. Every time they would come here for a photo shoot, Here's what they want. Um, I'm like this. What do, you, what do you want me to do? They go, why don't you get a knife? Get a knife. Do you have like a red pepper or something? I go, yeah. All right. I'll get a red pepper. How about a lemon? Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, stand at your cutting board. And now, now cut. All right. Like this more? No, no, just stop right there. And now look up <laughs> and smile. Okay, smile. A <laughs> little bit more. All right. Now, do you have, do you have a, uh, a lime you could put with that? Yeah, I got a lime. Uh, it's right here. All right, let's put it there. Do you want me to cut it? No, no. That's good. That looks, that looks totally real. So you think it looks like people are going to imagine that you happen to just catch me in my kitchen in the middle of cutting fruit and stuff? This is, this is real to you? So what I've adopted is this. For years, the only picture I would allow taken in this kitchen was me standing right here at the stove mm-hmm. with my arms crossed. This was like my safe zone. 
I felt fine here. I felt like I wasn't being phony. And here's what the problem is. The problem is, I deal in front of a video camera or a TV camera or we'll say like a moving picture camera all the time. And everything I do is 100% real. So now they want me to fake all my shit with, you have to pretend and just stand. It's uh, really uncomfortable and for it's me. it's so not you. Can my, I ask you something really quick? Yeah. What was this? That, oh my that God. looks so strange. That looks shit. like it's his head on something. No, no, no. No, it's, no, no. That's it's him me. wearing a suit, but that's that's <coughs> 10 years ago. No, almost. it looks like, right. It looks like somebody else's body. That is weird. You <laughs> look just like Mark in that picture. Wait a sec. <gasps> there was a reason. It was a tie. I was wearing a oh, I missed that tuxedo kitchen. type thing for some show. Uh -huh. oh, that was a, That's a screenshot. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, off of. Uh, There's a video a behind it. Oh, there is. Yeah. Can we see it? Mm -hmm. Are we about allowed to watch this right now? I'm sure we can. One. Wow. That guy is so dressed up. Sorry, let me. Two. Damn, he looks good. Oh, you gotta do God. this for New Year's I Eve. It's New Year's Eve. Look at your glasses. That you is so nice. long ago. I'm basically wearing women's glasses. You gotta have good food. Too. You are wearing look women's glasses. Look how round they are. Yeah. You look really. That was right the start now, of your young. young. That's just a big cutting ribs. With, uh, Did you see that? Kelly saw it's a big soul it's patch be too. New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's a little too wide. <laughs> That's a mustache falling. So good. Can't cook in a tux. Hey, I feel like if we watch this enough when we I come back I to you, it's gonna look strange. I have no idea guy, but where oh, these clothes yes, even came yeah. from. We right rented or and I'm gonna rent you next to each other. I remember that. Oh my god, wait, am I putting an apron on? Listen. For a special reason. Oh my God! I don't Maybe. even own that. Oh, Who are you? It just happens to be oh, Sam the Cooking Guy. Yeah, I've never seen this oh, episode cool. or this is weird. Or but check out. So we had, what's even better about and this? We're not just gonna cut. Them this is the old kitchen. It is. Yeah. We're in this kitchen right now. And what yep. do you see? That's the tie to the That's new the kitchen. Quick, everybody, right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Cutting board. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Everything else okay? I was my, my, oh, I was no, I saw you creeping around. Oh my board. god, the old oh, living room, fun. everything. You know, there's a reason Look people at, shoot in the studio. Not in their, in the their own frickin' right kitchen. The okay, all the guests right. now are turning their stuff. Yeah. Well, look at no, that technology. technology. Look at that phone. You have Who a are these people? What is this? Uh, nobody knows. <laughs> you can. Okay, nobody thinks so. Oh, I know what I'm making. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kelly's going off because that cutting board is behind me in the Brian. kitchen right now. Oh, it the is. Chopping block. The chopping the block. That's funny. First. He doesn't get an answer Okay, can you turn that down? Yeah. I don't need to hear that anymore. That is this exact house, everybody. <laughs> that was before yep. we pushed yeah, out. Yeah, so that, that wall, we pushed out four or five feet. Mm -hmm. But everything else is essentially the same. I wonder what rep recipe this is. Just you know what that is? I know ribs? what that is. No, that's the, um, that's the, the little appy ribs. What are they called? So you cut them in half. Oh, after spare that, ribs, yeah. honey garlic spare honey ribs. Honey garlic spare ribs. Yeah, those are the bomb. Hey, by the way, we gotta hop in the kitchen. Speaking of food, yeah, I gotta hop in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, but look at this thing first. Look what's on my screen. Uh -huh. You know the game. You know the game words with friends. Yes. Everybody knows that. Yes. Now they make like a home version. Uh huh. Isn't that just called fucking Scrabble? <laughs> <laughs> How are they not getting sued by the You're Scrabble right. people? Oh my God, it could not be any more right. I saw the commercial. That it's uh, uh, running a commercial on TV and I go, Words with Friends. A uh, board game. How fun. That's Scrabble. That game's already out. That is hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> wait, and I have one more surprise for you guys. Hey, wait, can I just say something really quickly? Yes. We just saw a little. We get, we just got a little bit of a taste of old school cooking guy. Yeah. I just want to let everybody out there who's been following you for a long time and has been a fan and would like access to the hundred plus episodes of Sam the Cooking Guy that have ever been shot. Hundred fifty. Just keep your eyes open because coming to a, a screen near you, you will have access to. <laughs> wow. Those. I don't know what you're talking about, but I can't wait. <laughs> I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Uh. Let me ask you boys something in that room right this second, specifically, or What's mostly up? Max, but not only Max. What's up? Do you notice anything different in there? In here? Yep. Have a go. <laughs> Look at the heads going. I love it. Is there going to be like something in the No, nothing's going to jump out. Okay. It's Wait, just going to drop this room? from the ceiling. Say that again, Lynn. Um, I don't see anything. Yeah, you don't? Is, is it something to do with your awards cabinet? Uh, nope. Why don't you take my computer screen for a sec there, Max? 
and tell me if you notice anything now. Oh, oh my what? God. Your keyboard's much cleaner today. <laughs> yeah, I wow. cleaned it. I cleaned keyboard, your keyboard. Th- the keyboard was that dirty. It was disgusting. That, can you Max? focus? Can you get closer in on the dirt? Yes. Oh um, my God. Wow, I cannot believe that. Yeah. I n- how did I? I'm yeah, always looking I at don't the monitor. Know, Max. I didn't see it. Yeah, well, you I know what? Noticed. Look at that. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you can ke- clean your keyboards. I unplugged it. I used a little Fantastic on a towel, a very wow. light spray of Fantastic. It took more elbow <laughs> grease than anything else. It's fantastic. But it worked. Show it again. It really worked. You should be ashamed of yourself. And by the way, <laughs> that tall kid sitting beside you, he's not completely innocent. In this That's either, true. By he's the, way. the one on the computer beforehand. So. <laughs> right. There's big greasy mitts on that thing. Okay, we have we have sort of an interesting transition to have to make right now. Um, oh, so yeah. here's what I want you to do. Yeah. I want you to start uh, Talk talking about, about our living. wonderful friends at Fixtures Living. Yeah. Lynn is going to hop into my chair, and then I am going to come out there and uh, do what I have to I'm do. I'm not really okay? ready for this exercise. Yeah, so <laughs> if, it, if it's a little bit um, off, just uh, bear with us, please. Okay. Oh, wait. You know what? While you're talking about Fixtures, you can grab the... Actually, I'm going to come and bring you the GoPro, okay? Well, I can gab it. I start can, talking I can, about I can, Fixtures. I can gab it. You can gab it? I'll grab yeah. it. Okay. Uh, fixtures <laughs> Living. Uh, here in San Diego, in Costa Mesa, and in Rancho Mirage is all things kitchen, bath, and outdoor. And when I say all things, I mean all, all things. They, they have everything, but more importantly, and I try and stress this, and, and I run into people and they go, ah, oh, you just say that stuff. And I go, I'm not, look, yes, I'm just saying the words, but here's the thing. They really know what they're talking about. They honestly know what they're talking about. And they can help you, not just in the sense that you say, I want a stove that's 32 inches. They'll say, here they are. They ask you questions about what kind of food you cook, how many people you entertain for, how do you do it? Because maybe there's a better option and not necessarily a more expensive option, but a better option for you. Maybe you shouldn't have electric. Maybe you should have something else. Maybe you want a warming drawer and you didn't think you needed one before, or maybe you don't want one and they'll tell you why you don't need one. Fixtureslivingcom and Fixtures Living on the Facebook Facebook.com forward slash Fixtures Living. They're there for everything that you need them to be there for when it comes to kitchen, bath, and outdoor. And even if you're not in the market right now, go anyways. Sammy's getting really a strap crazy. on. Yeah, no, explain, Sammy's getting a strap on. what you're doing right now. So I'm putting on the GoPro because I'm going to be my own camera person. I'm going to be my own camera person for part of what we're doing now. Maxie will have me in front. Which I have to walk around this way. Yep. Okay. Uh, Lynn, Tom, you can uh, run the intro. Yo, can I? Hey. <laughs> Are you sure about that? He is now. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, now that you've made all those give jokes. Come, give me a second to come back. Oh. How do you feel about that? <laughs> do you feel like you shouldn't have made fun of well, us, Well, this Lynn? is kind of a cool... It's good, right? Look at this. That, oh. see, you see what I see. It's like a... Big brother, Sam the cooking guy. First and person. And with a scary knife. Sam, if you had your own video game. Sam, you got to watch. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> I'm watching myself on the screen. This would be it. This is pretty cool. Oh, I see. Uh, I think you're every- not back, Max. We're not? You're not. Three's not? <laughs> your mom's not. What's going on? Uh, your ca- Max's camera's not They're plugged in. Two, two. Wow. <laughs> Here. Give me this one. Look at there's a scary knife left on the thing. Why? Just put in your cable. No, this is camera one now, Lynn. Sorry, this is camera one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to unplug the HDMI and put it back in. Oh. Uh, Dad? Here. What? So we didn't I rehearse this. Here, take my camera now, Lynn. Uh huh. So this you can see what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this should. Lens, I don't know why. There, 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 there we go. There we go. Okay, there, see, it's up. Okay, calm down. It wasn't You're getting like me now. I know, he is. Wow, Apple doesn't fall very far from the tree, does oh, it? There it goes again. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. I don't know which camera to switch to now. We got you. So just stay on my camera, Lynn. Okay. There's nothing there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's nothing there. It was just up. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Oh, there it goes. No, there, go. there it goes again. No, it's not. Wow. Oh. Let's look at this guy. It's the HDMI cable. Fucking. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. This is why I said this beforehand and you didn't listen to me. Hold on. Here you go. What? Let's have this out right here. Wait, what's the problem? <laughs> Dad, I... 
No, you well, didn't. Okay. You didn't do the whole cooking segment without. No, that's no, what you have to wait, do. No, wait. You didn't tell me that there was a chance that the cables weren't going to work. Did you say that? If you had said, "Oh, wait," yes, that's exactly what I said. I no. said it's going to be extremely difficult to do this. Get out, me, I, I'll get out, guys. I'll get out. I apologize, everybody. Out. For okay, sorry. you got to okay. cut it out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just cut it out. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to cook. I'll just. Wait, is this not working then? No, it's working. It's both. Working. You're working. Okay. We're both working now. All right. So here's what I've done. I've cooked some onions, not knowing what I was going to have to do. The pizza was going to have onions in it as well. So the, the fact that they're here, I want to use them now for the eggs. So what I have, oh, I can just do this. Look, I forgot I have a camera to myself. So I have this pan of onions. Lynn? Yeah. Can you take this for a mm -hmm. second? There you go. I have this pan of yellow onion that I've cut up and I've sauteed in a little butter. And you can see it's all ready to go. Because if I had to do the pizza, I needed this ready. But now that it's here, I'm going to get it hot, and I've decided I'm going to add a little spinach to this. So we got this bag of spinach, and spinach is one of those amazing things that you can add very last minute, and it works it out really nicely. So this is kind of, it says, it says baby spinach. This is bigger than what I want my baby spinach to look like. So I'm going to just do this. And this little handful of spinach, we're going to add to this. These onions that are right here that are cooking, I'll add a little bit more olive oil to it. And watch, this just goes in. Nice. And you're going to see in a couple of minutes, this is going to wilt down really nicely. And then it's going to be ready for us to add the eggs to and then the boursin. Then we have to decide which one of these boursins we want. I feel really funny wearing this thing. I mean, it's not something that guys normally wear on their chest, man. It's like a, now I kind of feel like <laughs> I, I'm, guys don't I'm normally have strap-ons on their chest. I'm understanding the bra concept a little bit. Uh, do you feel a little? You know, I remember growing up, and my mom, one of my mom's friends, we'll call her Mrs. Goldberg. No, it's not her name. It was Gold. No, I won't say. She had a breast reduction. This is the rumor. She had five pounds removed. Wait for it, from each breast. What? Kelly, is that within the realm of possibility? Uh, you're looking up the wrong person. <laughs> no, the wrong but I mean, <laughs> have, you heard, have you heard of that? I have don't you know heard how of, much a boob weighs. Have you heard of that much breast tissue being removed? <laughs> I guess she I mean, was a hefty. I, I've heard people that like, you know, amputees that lose a leg, it's like a third of their body weight or something crazy like that. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's pretty cool. It's like, it's a lot of weight and you know, it's just. Okay, I'm cracking eggs. And you know, here's the deal on cracking eggs. When you do this and you crack down on the side, there's a good chance that you get shell in here and then it comes in here. You want to hit it on the flat. So either this or on there. And then just easily with your fingers, separate it and then the two sides and you don't have anything in there. It's that simple. Look, here's my, here's my, uh, my kitchen drawer. <laughs> you can give it a little tour? We can't usually see this on camera, actually. No, look at Here's where I keep all these little things. Down here, watch this. It's cool. Okay, I like little bowls to put stuff in. Look how organized. In. I know. Here are the white ones. This guy for sauces. These guys. Oh, where's your, where are your puppies at? My dogs? Yeah. I don't know. Are they sleeping? Oh, they're over there on sleeping. the couch by Kelly. Oh, okay, so like beat right the eggs. And I say this all the time. If you're not hitting the bottom when you do this, you're not really beating eggs. You're just pushing them around in the bowl. Good. Salt and pepper. And we're there. Oh, look at Terry yeah. Bannister just chimed in. I had five total removed when I had my <laughs> Oh. Breath. Five yeah. total, two and a half. Yeah. So it's completely plausible that she, that's uh, Mrs. Yeah, Goldman. The, I mean, uh oh. what's a common thing in your, in your kitchen that weighs five pounds? Oh, God, I have no idea. Like, well, what's a here? sack of flour? Sorry, I just have to That's get so this. That's so funny. I was, went right for a sack of flour, too. <laughs> There's the borzine. I believe it would be borsin. I, I, I can't pronounce stuff. Now. So shallot and chive, garlic and fine herbs. Shallot and chive. Oh, we've already got onion in there. Yes. I want the chive in this. So here's what we're going to do. It looks like this in its little container. 
we're just going to peel this off and just put a couple spoonfuls once it goes into the pan. All right, so here's the important part, ladies and gentlemen. When we, I think we've been through this making an omelet 101, have we? You can see this well, right? Yes. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, better's down. That's better. This will, this will be better, but. Okay. Oh yeah, you can do both. Okay, so butter, so nothing sticks, right? Look at how the spinach is down now to nothing, right? It's perfect. Now we'll pour in the eggs. Mm-hmm. Max's camera's fluttering again, but it just, is. Yeah, so just okay. stay on that there. I got gotcha. you. So here there. we can make a proper omelet, like a foldy one. Let's should we do that? Um. Let's just scramble. Scramble. Yeah. I want. I think the foldy part's important in an omelet. Well, we're not doing that now. <laughs> that looks yummy. You just you just agreed to really yummy to this. So now we have to put a little bit of this in. Let me get a spoon. So watch, you put a, just a few little knobs of this. Is that the right word? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd say knob of butter, right? Hey, a knob of boursin. Knob of boursin, I'll just put one more in. And it's off the heat. We're just gonna let the heat start to do its thing. Look at it, as soon as it goes in, it starts to melt. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. And Sammy, when you're finished, we've had a few true fans that want you to do a pop-up in the worst way. <laughs> oh, a pop-up, an after pop-up. Just we haven't pop done up. a pop-up in like <laughs> since like episode 120. I can do a pop-up. He's okay. popped up in New Zealand. He's popped up in Fiji. He's popped okay. up in Hong well, Kong. Okay, can I just tell you oh. <laughs> how good this is going to be? Oh my God. Pop up. There you go, girls. Tell me when, Max. Go. <laughs> so I'm dumb. Sam, making <laughs> eggs in my kitchen. It's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the pop-up. No, it's not, dude. All right. Okay. So now look at Here's my call. My call is when to pull eggs off the stove. And the light on the GoPro is not that great. But I want you to try and get a sense of it. it's still creamy. If you go too long, you're just going to dry the eggs out. And who wants dried out eggs? I think most people dry out their eggs. I think so. Yeah. Look at Oh, my God. Max, put your cable back in. <laughs> well, Max's cable's not working. Okay. So that's it. What does it need? It needs a little pepper. But look how beautiful it is. And then it needs a fork. We should do a tour one of these days. Do you want me to go back to the table? Uh, oh. Sure. No, there's no camera there. You know what's going to be really fun? I'm holding the shimai in now. Okay, that helps. Do you know yeah. what's, you know what's going to be really fun? Is a conversation that Max and I have when this is over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I leave early? Mm -mm. I'm going up to my neighbors. Okay. <laughs> Can I tell you something? This is magnificent. Hey, so one of you guys going to have to pull up on your camera, yo. It really is. Oh, sorry. You come up to me, Maxie. No, I got to. I have a blank camera. Okay, one. We, got, we, got, we got trouble here. Oh. Okay, stay right there. There, Sam. You're, you're going to be camera one for now. Okay. So I can't, I can't really say goodbye to everybody from here, but watch this. No, I'll put this on back on one and you can say goodbye from there. Okay. I apologize, ladies. Hey, look at, <laughs> I like this. They like the pop-up. And you know what? And we didn't talk about this. That we have to, that we have to talk about. What uh, are we talking about? This thing right here. What is it? Oh, he's off the thing. It's this. It's about turkey dinners, complete holiday dinners that I got in my shopping bag today at the supermarket that <laughs> I will not be taking advantage of. Okay. Keep one of these things in the fridge. It's magnificent in here. I have to make this again so Link can take pictures, but I'm telling you, this thing is a 10 out of 10, maybe even a 12 out of 10. All right. It's been a little chaotic at the end, especially when But these things happen. We all learn. Some of us know how to keep our, con our composure, and some of us. Oh, wow. We'll be talking about this on oh, Monday wow. night, too. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the live cast. Here's the deal it's live, and live streaming is not a simple thing to do. I know it's 2012, 
Not very many people do this. And this is one of the reasons, because you can't tell what's gonna happen. But this is one of the reasons that I like it. It's unpredictable, it's fun, it's not so polished, it's not canned, and we don't fake nothing. For sure. Who would fake problems with cameras and stuff? Nobody. <laughs> Thanks for being here, have a good weekend. Looking forward to seeing you guys here Monday night. Thanks.